Chapter 5 Display CAD File and Element Labels This chapter introduces how to display a CAD file and element labels in SSA. As you work in SSA, you will find that keeping organized and aware of how elements are connected is very important to working efficiently and avoiding mistakes. In this chapter, you will display your Civil 3D drawing as a background for your network in SSA. You will also learn how to display ID labels for nodes and links. Then you will move the subbasin nodes inside the catchment polygon areas. The objectives in this chapter are assigning a background drawing, displaying node and link ID labels, and move, move subbasin nodes next to catchment labels. Before beginning this chapter, browse to your dataset. Select the Chapter 5, 220-495-201.exe file, double click on it, browse to the C drive, to your Civil 3D Projects folder, click OK, and then click on Zip. This will overwrite any existing files that you have in that project. Click OK and then close the WinZip self-extractor. Exercise 5.1. Assign background drawings. Start SSA by double-clicking on the icon on your desktop. Next, open the project file located in your C Civil 3D Projects folder. So click on the file, men file pull-down menu, choose Open, Go to the C drive, go to Civil 3D Projects, double click on 220495201, go to your drainage folder, go to SSA folder, and select Proposed Drainage SR61.SPF, and then click Open. Next, go to the full pull down menu and choose Layer Manager. In the Layer Manager dialog box, you will see the background image CAD file filled is empty. Click the ellipses button to browse for a CAD file. Again, browse to the drainage folder in your project and then select the drprrd05.dwg. Click Open. The background image CAD file fields displays the path and file name you just selected. Click OK to dismiss the Layer Manager dialog box. From the pull down menu, choose Zoom Extents. The Plan View tab displays the CAD file background and design elements. Zoom into the area as indicated by the red box. Click the View pull down menu and select the Zoom command. There is no red box on your screen. The red box is placed on the screen capture as a point of reference. Click on the canvas in the approximate location upper left hand corner, upper left and lower right hand corners. Your display should look, should zoom into the project area. Press the escape key to terminate the zoom command. Click the View Pull-Down menu and open the Layer Manager dialog box again. Click the CAD Layers button in the upper right-hand corner of the dialog box to open the CAD Layers dialog.
click the Layers Off button. on the top right hand corner and then turn on the text label layer name additionally scroll down to find the text label layer name if you cannot find it at first or it may be need to you may need to choose a layer name to sort it alphabetically then click OK and then click OK again you should now see the nodes and links on top of the catchment area from the background CAD file Click the Save command under the File pull-down menu to save your SSA project. Exercise 5.2 Display Node and Link ID Labels Nodes and links have IDs that can be displayed as labels in the Plan View tab. Click the View pull-down menu and select Display Options command. The Display Options dialog box displays. Find the Annotation section of this dialog box. Check the box next to Subbasin IDs, Note IDs, and Link IDs. Click OK to dismiss the Display Options dialog. The labels overlap at this zoom scale. Try zooming in to where the labels do not overlap. Use the wheel on the mouse to pan and zoom into the northern area of inlets S9 and S10. Now the catchment area and their labels display as background from the CAD file. Click the Save button. Exercise 5.3 Move Subbasin nodes next to catchment labels. You can move nodes in SSA by clicking and dragging them. In this section you will move the Subbasin nodes next to the corresponding catchment label displayed by the background CAD file. When you hover over Subbasin S9, a tooltip appears with a green background. The tooltip displays the type of node and the node ID. Left click the green square representing the subbasin node and left mouse drag to the next label catchment S9. When you are done, click the Save button to save the SSA project.
Next, close SSA by going to the File Pull-Down menu and choosing Exit.